guys, this is Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole, and this video was brought to you and sponsored by Similac. And this is going to be a video telling you 10 ways on how to prepare for labor. At the time I'm filming this video, I'm currently 38 weeks and 3 days pregnant with my fourth child, and she will be coming any day now. So perhaps by the time this video is up, she will already be here and I'm just so excited to be able to share my journey again here through my YouTube channel um, or not again. The first time I'm sharing my pregnancy journey with you guys doing pregnancy vlogs and all types of pregnancy related videos and while I have done multiple videos on pregnancy and um, newborns and stuff like that related to babies through the years. I have never done a video yet telling you ways that I prepare for, lab for labor. So I actually took some notes and wrote down like my top 10 ways to prepare for labor. The first one would be to make sure you're pre-registered at your hospital. Fill out all the forms that you need to send ahead of time as well as those forms that they give to you to bring uh, when D-Day comes around. So for instance, um, for me in my hospital bag is the forms for baby's birth certificate as well as, you know, the information about her pediatrician and so forth. And of course, you want to make sure all the arrangements are already made uh, with your insurance and especially if you plan to get um, if you plan to pump, um, get all of that situated and ready before baby arrives. Regardless if you're having a hospital birth or home birth, um, make sure all your, you know, your birth plan is already set with, you know, your OBG or your doula or your midwife, um, whoever it may be. Well, I have only experienced a hospital birth. Another thing is to make sure you do a hospital tour if you find that it's necessary, um, especially if it's your first. I'm having my delivery at the same hospital where I had my uh, previous three children, so I was I obviously don't need a hospital tour. Also, in addition to that, if you feel more comfortable to have Lamaze classes with your partner, your spouse, um, that's something definitely need to do prior to labor as well. Um, myself, I did not take any Lamaze classes um, with any of them. But I know a lot of people that have done them and it has helped them and sometimes it doesn't because it's kind of like when that time comes around, all that stuff kind of goes out the window. For me, I like to use, um, you know, my own natural, I've used my own natural instinct, also the guidance of my husband, the guidance of my mom, and the guidance of the doctors and doctor and nurses that are in the room during my delivery. Third thing, if you are working, um, make arrangements for your maternity leave. Um, make sure everything is set with your HR, with your boss, with your coworkers. If you need whatever type of coverage, whatever type of work it is that you do, make sure all those arrangements are already done. You know, tie all those loose ends, finish all the last minute work that you need to do. Of course, in my case, um, I work from home doing, you know, videos and stuff. So I am pre-recording tons of videos and situating everything with deadlines and emails. Um, in addition to that, you know, I work part time at the dance school so I've already made arrangements um, with the studio for coverage for the duration of the time that I will be gone um, even though my kids are there at the school like six days a week um, you know if I've already made arrangements for that in addition to work arrangements if you have other children make sure you have child care arrangements especially for labor day um, because it can happen at any time not necessarily when they're home or on the weekend it could be while they're at school it could be before they go to school so you just have to make sure you have those alternative um, care that alternative care for your kids um, when you do go to the hospital into labor so whether it's your parents and laws family members friends just make sure you have those arrangements already set um, especially you never know how long labor could take so those arrangements are made for your kids where they will stay um, 
if they need to have bags packed already just in case they you know have to stay overnight at somebody's house uh, relatives house or whatnot just make sure all those arrangements are already taken care of ahead of time uh, for lunches and all of that um, there's just so much that you need to prepare so if you have multiple kids make sure those are done in advance this thing would be is to pre-schedule your bills whatever bills that you may have for your home for vehicles um, for insurance um, for credit cards make sure all of your stuff is pre-scheduled ahead of time I would say at least two to three weeks prior to your due date make sure you schedule everything because you know you don't want to miss payments so maybe this is something you already do on a regular that everything is already scheduled out at the beginning of the month um, but just make sure you make all your arrangements for your bills ahead of time also keeping up with mail I have a tendency to have my mail stack up so lately I've been like opening up all my mail and just making sure that I've been keeping on top of that um, in case I go into labor any day now next thing would be nesting mode so nest 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 you depending on um, yourself nesting might start start really early or it might start late in the game but you know make sure to pre-wash all of the baby's clothes um, blankets sheets etc everything that you could possibly need for baby in addition to the nesting I like to make sure that the house is clean prior to baby um, prior to labor but also prior to coming home so anything that I'm able to take care of um, housewise cleaning you know I like to have done before I go into labor especially the laundry which we have so much laundry of so I've been keeping on top of the laundry um, especially so that all my kids and my husband have clean clothes you know for when I'm gone um, you know all the, all the things that they need especially for dance or ac any extracurricular activities um, but and then also you know my husband in the past has always made sure to you know vacuum up the room and dust and everything um, the room before baby comes change sheets all that stuff um, you know before baby comes home the hospital bag and I did a separate video on this that I will link down below where I thoroughly go over everything in my hospital bag bags um, that is ready for the baby and I mentioned in that video always have a list on top of your hospital bag of those last-minute things to add that maybe you use on a daily like my laptop and my charger so like that's something that's on top of my list or any special toiletries that you use on a daily you don't have extras of um, have that on the top of your bag so that you or your spouse remembers to add that in last minute another thing I would mention would be to do tons of walking um, and anything you feel that would help naturally induce um, labor the coming labor of your baby which is things that i'm trying to do now that i mentioned in my pregnant my recent pregnancy vlog so um you know whether it's yoga walking any types of particular exercises kegel movements or whatnot um whatever it may be to help induce your labor make sure to do that as well to pamper yourself schedule a day two to three weeks prior or however it may be um, to have whether it's a spa day or just a mani-pedi or getting your eyebrows done or just something to do for yourself so I've already had like a nice mani-pedi being that I'm due in less than two weeks um, and then my husband and I also recently had a date night whether this is your first second or more you definitely want to get that less date night in before baby comes because you won't be having none of those for a while maybe have the car seat um set up stroller set up well you won't need to stroller right away but make sure your car seat's installed so i think that pretty much sums up my top 10 ways to prepare for labor i hope this video helped you and i'll see you guys next time